Hello again, my beautiful yoga friends. Welcome to this 30 minute gentle morning flow with background music. So the practice is designed to work all areas of the body, especially in the mornings when your whole body is still a little stiff, muscles are still cold. This practice will help you to awaken your body, awaken the energy within. And you will also have soothing, calm music in the background. If you want to support me, please give this video a like and share it with your friends. Also follow me on Instagram and subscribe to me here on my YouTube channel. If you want to support me financially, you can leave a donation following the PayPal link that you can also find down below in the description box. I will see you on the mat. Enjoy. For our practice today, it would be good if you have a blanket and two blocks. Alternatively, you could be using two big books. Start by taking a comfortable seat on your blanket or you could also be sitting on one of your blocks. Ground down through your sitting bones. Lengthen your spine. Have your hands resting on your knees, palms down or up, and close your eyes. Feel yourself arriving and grounding into this position. Feel yourself arriving and grounding in your body. And then shift your awareness to your breath. You are breathing in and out of the nose in a soft and gentle rhythm. Noticing the flow of air within your body as you're breathing in and out. By connecting with your breath, you're also connecting on a deeper level with your body. Start now to take deeper, more conscious breath, lengthening the inhalations and slowing down the exhalations. Find your rhythm of breath. Take two more breath here. Inhale, sweep your both arms up, lengthen. Exhale, join the hands together at your heart, bow the head forward. Open your eyes, inhale, head up. And exhale, release the hands in line with your hips onto the mat. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over, side stretch. Exhale, center. Inhale, left arm up and over. Exhale, center. Continue here in your own rhythm of breath. Next time your right arm is reaching up and over, stay here in the side stretch. Focus on creating openness along the right side of the upper body, space in between your ribs. One more inhale here. Exhale, center. Inhale, other side. Left arm up and over. Make sure your chest is not collapsing and rounding forward. You're opening the chest up towards the ceiling. Good 
Inhale here. Exhale, center. Move any props out of the way. Hands back, feet out in front of you. And to release, let your knees fall over from side to side. Gentle twist for the lower back. Cross your legs, roll over the knees, bring the hands forward and come into tabletop. Wrists in line with shoulders, knees in line with hips. Inhale, arch the spine, look forward and up. Exhale, round the spine, look in. Inhale, arch for cow. And exhale, round for cat. Continue in your own rhythm here. And if you feel like it, you can also find free movement. Maybe going side to side, half circles, full circles. Maybe it helps you to close your eyes, to let this movement come out of your intuition, the intuitive wisdom of your body. Eventually come back into a neutral spine, come onto the fingertips and then walk the hands over to the left, sink the chest more down. Find engagement in your core, draw the lower ribs in. Inhale, center. And exhale, go over to the other side. Stay on the fingertips. Since you are not arching in the spine, your head will not touch the ground. Inhale, center. Place the hands forward, tuck your toes. Push the hips to the heels. And then come into this down dog variation where you actively push the heels up and you keep the legs bent. Strong arms, long spine, feeling the stretch on the soles of the feet. Find movement now, lowering one heel, then the other. Waking up the back of the legs, the hamstrings. Maybe it also feels nice to bring the hips from side to side, stretching out the spine. And then eventually find stillness. Let your head hang, relax your neck. Walk the hands back to the feet now, so you arrive in a standing forward fold at the back of the mat. Bring the hands to opposite elbows, let your upper body hang. Legs can be bent. Feel free to sway the upper body from side to side if that feels good. Come back into the center, hands onto the ground, come onto fingertips. Place the left hand in line with your face. Inhale, right hand reaches up, right leg straight, left leg bent. Exhale, release. Inhale, left hand up, left leg straight, right leg bent. Exhale, release. Inhale, right, open your chest, twist. Exhale, release. 
inhale left exhale center one more each side inhale half lift now hands on the shins and exhale hands to the calves to pull yourself deeper all the way down into a forward fold use the strength of your arms to bring your torso closer to the thighs inhale half lift fingertips on the ground and exhale release walk your hands forward again arriving back in downward facing dog inhale right foot high exhale step the right foot forward in between the hands left knee down and tuck the toes low lunge be free to take your two blocks now underneath your hands sink deep into the hips opening the front of the left thigh left hip and try to also open the chest so don't collapse and round in the upper body inhale here exhale push the hips back half split flex the right foot inhale come back forward and exhale go back right leg as straight as possible continue in your own rhythm of breath and you could also be doing this without the blocks so if you are more flexible more open you can have the hands on the ground when you are in half split again hold here try to lengthen your spine only folding deeper if that works for you for your body inhale forward again remove the blocks hands on the ground tuck the left toes under left knee up right foot back downward facing dog inhale left foot high exhale foot goes forward in between the hands right knee down and tuck the toes if you did so on the first side take your two blocks again sink the hips to the ground press the back foot into the mat long spine inhale here and then exhale push yourself back into half split find your movement connecting this movement to your own breath trying to breathe in a slow rhythm thereby finding very slow and controlled movement next time you're in half split hold here make sure you're flexing the left foot even if your left leg is not completely straight spine long forward again place the blocks to the side hands down and transition back into downward facing dog inhale shift forward to plank exhale lower knees chest chin inhale baby cobra and exhale release the forehead down bring the hands a little further forward and then inhale lift your upper body 
adjust the position of your hands so that this posture works for you arms can be slightly bent or more straight just make sure the shoulders are not coming up to the ears keep them sinking down your neck long chest open only going as deep as it feels good for your lower back One more inhale here, exhale release, hands in line with your chest again and you transition back into downward facing dog. Might be finding some stretching movement here and then finding again stillness, feeling your body, feeling your breath. look forward take as many steps as you need to reach the front feet together inhale half lift exhale fold inhale come all the way up to standing arms up exhale release tadasana at the top of your mat Bring the weight into the right foot, pick the left leg up, hug the left leg into the chest, keep your chest open. Bring the leg now into tree pose, if possible have the foot at your inner thigh, but you could also have the foot at the calf. Keep the hands at the heart or if you want reach the arms up finding your variation your expression of tree pose hands again to the heart bring the left knee up inhale here Exhale, step the left foot back, finding high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit deeper. Hold here, feel the stretch on the front of the left leg, left hip. Inhale here. Exhale, plant the hands. Inhale, right hand reaches up. Easy twist. Left hand stays on the ground in line with the right foot. Open the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Step to plank. Inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, open the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding here. Look forward. Take as many steps as you want to reach the front, feet together, inhale lifting halfway, flat back, exhale fold deep, Uttanasana, inhale come all the way up, Udva Hastasana, exhale release, Tadasana, mountain pose. Left foot stays grounded, right leg up. Hug the right leg into the chest. Try to bring the right leg as close to your chest, your upper body as you can. Transition now into your variation, your expression of tree pose. Foot higher or lower. Knee pointing out. 
hands at the heart or arms reaching up. Keep your gaze fixed at one point for focus, for stability. Bring the hands to the heart again. Bring the right knee up. Inhale here. And exhale with control. Step the right foot all the way back. Long stance. Inhale, arms up. High lunge. Sit deeper. Turning the right side of the hip forward. Right leg straight. Inhale here. Exhale, hands down. Inhale, left hand reaches up. Right hand stays firmly grounded, pressing yourself out of the right hand, like lifting away from the ground. One more inhale. And exhale, release. Plank pose. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Hold here. Inhale, right foot high. Exhale, bring the right leg forward. Right knee over to the right wrist for pigeon pose. Untuck the left toes, left leg long and straight behind you. If your hips are hovering away from the ground, you can maybe use a blanket or your block underneath your hips. Stay upright, maybe walk the hands a little further in and then bring the hands just a little outside of the mat. Inhale here, exhale fold forward. Inhale back up, open the chest, look up. Exhale, fold forward again. Find your rhythm here. Maintaining stability through the legs, the hips, the lower part of the body. Finding that movement in the upper part. One more inhale to lift. And then exhale, walk the hands forward, fold all the way forward. Make sure that your hips are squared. Make sure that you're not falling over to the right, nor leaning over to the left. Slowly come back up. If you were using props, move them out of the way. Lean over to the right side so that you can swing your left leg forward. Bring the left foot to the outside of the right thigh. Readjust the legs, the hips, sitting bones grounded. Left hand behind you. Inhale, right hand reaching up. Exhale, twist to the left. Either hold the leg or hook the right arm, the right elbow, behind the left leg. Lengthening from your hips, your lower back up through the whole spine. Finding the twist. center. Exhale, mild counter twist. Come back into the middle, hands behind you. Bring the legs up. Cross one shin over the other, roll forward and step back into plank pose. If you want, flow through another vinyasa here. Or you can skip it and go straight back into down dog. 
Eventually, we all meet back in Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, pick the left foot up. Exhale, bring the leg forward, setting up for your pigeon pose on the other side. Check that your right leg is one long straight line behind you, hips are squared, option to use your props. And stay upright here, find a long spine, make sure that you're opening the front, not compressing too much at the back. Maybe bring the hands a little outside of the mat. Inhale here and exhale fold. Find your rhythm again. Inhale to lift. If it feels good, also bringing the head up to open the throat. And exhale to lower. One more inhale, and then exhale, walk the hands all the way forward, sink your whole upper body down. Find stillness, still breathing in your deep steady rhythm, sending your breath into the area of the stretch. With mindful movement, come back out, remove any props, bring the weight onto the left hip so that you can bring your right leg forward, foot goes to the outside of the left leg, adjust your position so that both of your sitting bones are grounded, right hand behind you, inhale left arm up. Exhale, twist to the right, either hold the leg or hook the elbow. Every inhale, finding more length. Every exhale, twisting a little deeper. Make sure you're keeping the right foot firmly grounded. Inhale, center. Exhale, counter twist. Come back into the middle, hands behind you. Bring the legs up. Flex the feet and then release the legs onto the ground. Dandasana, hands next to the hips. Legs straight, feet flexed. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands can be on the ground, or if you're more open, you can also bring the hands to the feet. If it's challenging for you to find length along your spine, you can also bend your legs. You could even roll up your blanket and place the blanket underneath your bent legs. Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold. release 
Release yourself all the way down onto the mat and find reclined butterfly. Soles of the feet together and knees out. If you wish, you can use your two blocks or your two books here underneath your thighs to find a supported reclined butterfly. So check for yourself what works here for you. Feel free to cover yourself up with your blanket and then also choose an arm position that allows you to relax into the posture. It allows you to find openness. Close your eyes and let go of your breath. Allowing your breath to return back to its natural soft rhythm. Gently flowing in and out of your nose. Allowing your whole body to fully relax. Finding softness in the muscles. Relaxation across the whole body. Decide for yourself if you want to stay here or if you want to come into a regular Shavasana. If you do so, straighten the legs out, feet fall out to the sides, arms slightly away from the body with palms facing up. With each and every out breath, your body sinks a little deeper into relaxation. With each and every out breath, you are letting go a little bit more.
pause again to your breath. Take one or two deeper breath here. And then start to bring movement back into the body, hands and feet, wrists and ankles, your head, your neck. Maybe it feels nice to find a full body stretch. And then eventually you bend the legs, plant the feet, and roll yourself over onto one side. With eyes remaining closed, Come back up into your comfortable seated posture. Hands rest on the knees. Take a few more moments here. Feeling the effect of the practice. Join your hands together at your heart. Gently bow the head forward, chin to the chest. And then open your eyes. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for joining my beautiful yoga friends. I hope you're feeling ready to start your day now. Please let me know in the comments how you like the music and also if you would like to see more of these shorter videos, including background music. I will see you again next time. Namaste.